Steve Show. Step aside and let the big kids play. Wrong song in your ears. We kids. not even remotely done with my rant that I started the other night. I know, you're still doing it. The tread? Hmm? Oh, Ethan has no idea what happened. Oh, it started. Yeah, you're on. You want it off? You want it on? And off? And on? We're getting off? And off? Oh, yeah, I'm EDM in it now. Hang on. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> DJ Steve in the house. Uh, I, 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 I went off like, uh, was it yeah, Saturday Ethan night? Has no idea no what's going clue. on. It was like one o'clock in the morning or something. Yeah, I was completely I just, informed yeah. when I came back from Florida for a week, but now I'm completely misinformed. <laughs> Yeah, we did like a periscope at like 1 a.m. to like 2 a.m. No, Jane did a periscope. I was just pissed he, off. He was mad. I. It was just. <sighs> you were mad. I got, a I got an. I got an it. email from someone. It just kind of set me off with like yeah, everything Ethan else. Has no idea what it is. I okay, so, so 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 <laughs> you the got e- an email from somebody at one o'clock in the morning. No, I didn't open it until one o'clock oh. in the morning. Another reason, people, <laughs> never open your email after about six o'clock at night. Because it'll yeah. ruin your night, especially if you have to deal with the See, fuck tarts I have to I know have to what it is. With. What? I usually always have to know what it is. If it's like going to yeah, be a no. shitty email or something. See, and I don't. I normally bury my head in my in the sand. That's my yeah. that's my mo. I'm like, yeah. oh, there's a problem. Uh, I'll just stick my head in the sand. I'm typical. Let's go down to the Winchester, have a pint, and wait for it all to blow over. I'm very much that yes. type of person. Very much. But I didn't. I opened the email. Because I had emailed someone on Thursday night, and I didn't hear from them. Yes, Jacob, he's still on the rant. Yes. And yes, he baby, time does not matter with the Steve <laughs> rant. No, no. Oh, Leonard is here in Periscope. Wow. Is still in Vegas. Dude, so why are you not night? banging your missus? Here's the thing. On his wedding night, he tuned into our Periscope. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know whether I should go, oh my God, that's an amazing, devoted, lovely listener, or what the fuck, weren't she like, you know? Having she was sex probably. Wedding night. She was probably already asleep. He probably Maybe. knocked her yeah. senseless for two hours. She was like, "All right, now you sleep. <laughs> I got stuff to do." Mm-mm. Uh yeah. So, yeah. anyway, so I got an email on Saturday because I didn't hear anything from the ad company that yeah. we're dealing with. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Oh, it's about them. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Hang on. I'm going to read exactly what it said. <laughs> oh, man. Because the difference between Even you today guys didn't and hear the other this day. At one o'clock. Uh, hang on. Uh, 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 oh, uh, man. This is, this is uh, like extremely is it, is it bad. bad. It's, it's bad news or it's just he's It's not bad ranting. news. Oh, okay. okay. But it is really bad. Like, I'd be at like level 1000 pissed off if somebody said that to me too. So you only know where he's going with this. It's like yes. really, really extremely this bad. Is, this is... Hello to, um, just really quickly before you sorry. start. Hello to everybody that's on Periscope. We've got a bunch of people on there right now. Um, we want to know what your life... What you want to yet. achieve... Oh, did you not name it like that? Most people are just saying sex or one trillion dollars. That's what we, one trillion dollars <laughs> one trillion for your goat. <laughs> so make sure to follow me on mm-hmm. here because we do our show right. Monday through Friday. I think that should actually be a show. You can also listen to us on roosterfm.com. You can listen to all of our and old iTunes. shows. And iTunes. Hello in Australia. Yes. Good day, mate. <laughs> all right. There you go. Okay. Listen to that. You can carry on with your ranting if you'd like. The opening to the email. <laughs> oh, man. I usually try to get back to to get back to emails within 24 hours. Unfortunately, I was not able to respond 
At this point, I'm like not able to respond. Was he kidnapped? <laughs> was he bound and gagged in a chair for 24 hours and was unable? No, no, no. no. I was not able to respond to you Friday uh, to your Friday email because I am a Sabbath observer. <laughs> and click. Oh man. For the record, I have no problem what religious day you would like to take. But when the rest of the fucking world keeps turning, you might want to yeah. give people a little bit of a heads up. Especially as I just paid you twelve hundred fucking dollars to fucking be at my beck and call when I need you. You know, you do, the Friday. Is, who the fuck takes a Friday? I know nobody does work on Friday. Is open Monday through Friday, eight a.m. to six p.m. Yeah. Close Saturday and Sunday. But what we're cool. meant to figure out is because all the managing partners are Jewish, we should automatically assume, even though they say Monday to Friday, what they actually mean is Sunday to Thursday. <laughs> Two Jews walk into a bar, but not on a Friday because they're all sat at home doing nothing. <laughs> well, actually, they would be at Temple, but, you know. Then they're still doing something. <laughs> uh, F-15 said, uh, he laughed and he said, Steve, you're going to hell. That's <laughs> new. <laughs> Seriously. I, I already own uh, property down there. <laughs> uh, F-15 said he got you a VIP ticket. <sighs> so that that's... That was from yes. nine nine p.m. to about one a.m. He just fucking exploded, and I was like, "I have to." It, it just, Thirty minutes. Of she him stopped. Just... Me. I wrote two email. I wrote the first email, and she was like, "You are not Nasty. sending that because we actually need to work with these people." <laughs> I'm like, "Ah!" Like that, and then she got me to delete that one. Then I wrote another one, which was not as angry. And, and now G Barge says, "Like, well, maybe if you rang the business on Friday, they would have answered." <laughs> that was a stupid statement, dude. <laughs> Maybe I could have sent a fax. <laughs> so we, we'd only have to go back as far as the 1980s to talk to them. 84, yeah. You know, maybe. Uh, Marcus says, sorry, he's late this morning. He was observing the Sabbath. <sighs> <laughs> yes, he wrote two really, really, really nasty emails. And I, I heard him typing, like, well, furiously. Like, I know when he's, like, ranting mm-hmm. with somebody, like, on Facebook or things like that, or when he's writing a nasty email because he the just, end, like, blah, 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 blah. The end of the email. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for reaching out. I do hope you don't feel I have been lacking in communication, and I do apologize if I made you feel that way. See, and this is my... <laughs> no, he apologized. No. Everything is A-OK. <laughs> no, no, he didn't. He didn't, because look what... I'm, I apologize if I made you feel that way. No, your actions are wrong. This is... You see, I can't stand this new kind of fucking apology that people do. And, oh, I'm sorry you feel that way. We need a way. rant song. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's going to be like... But that's what you... Play but you can't, you can't say, I'm sorry. I can't stand it Here's when people go, I'm sorry you're offended. No, you're not. <laughs> you're not sorry. You're, that is the most lame-ass excuse ever. It's stupid. You should say, I'm sorry for not emailing you on Friday. He was not Here's unable to He's email. He's not in work on Friday. As any professional business has, you know, for something like that. If they, are, if they know they're not going to be in every Friday. And they have their business hours open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And that is all over. They should have, like, a out-of-office reply email. Then you go, cool, okay. Yeah, but this if, doesn't really help that it stemmed off of them abruptly ending a phone call on that Thursday was the other afternoon. Problem. Thursday and I afternoon. Think that's like the biggest thing. Thursday afternoon. Yes, he's still going yes. from the weekend. Yes, yes. Thursday yeah. afternoon, they cut it short after forty-five minutes because he had something else he needed to do. Yeah, which was probably I don't know. Put I think his he had to make another phone call. He said he had to make another phone call. Oh, whatever. That's probably that's probably Jewish for ring curls or something. Okay. What? Yeah. What? <sighs> I, I'm just, you know, and then it reminded me when I had to go get my passport renewed. I went down to Walgreens down in Portland. And if you pixie tard is listening to this show, you're a fucking idiot, you are. I went down there, right? Can I have my passport photos? And they were like, yeah, okay. So this, this little pixie tard was like, all right, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. And so she takes the pictures and hands me them, not cut. I think they like the name pixie tard. And I'm like... Well, the the service says you will cut them to size. Actual comment, I don't feel comfortable cutting them. So I'm not going to do it. (laughs) Mike, 
You advertise that. That, That's that's not something... You advertise that. You don't have a brain surgeon go in and go, okay, right, I've done the work now. Well, aren't you going to sew them up? Oh, I'm not comfortable sewing people up. So I'm just going to leave you there with your head open. No, of course they don't. Mm-hmm. But she Pixie Tart... Maybe she doesn't have her scissors license yet. Mm-hmm. I, you know what? That is probably <laughs> true. And I just realized it was like, you know, between the... Oh, I couldn't email... I was unable to email you. No, you specifically made a choice. You didn't want to email me. Not that you couldn't. Nobody was holding your hands. I don't care how powerful you think your God is. He is not holding your hands going, You stay down! You stay down! I'm, I'm not letting your hands up at all! It, not doing that, no. <laughs> willingly not emailing me, right? Pixie tard, right? Willingly not wanting to cut my photos. Right. What is this thing <laughs> of like all of a sudden you can do a job and pick and choose what you want to do? Jesus Christ! I was, like, like I said the other night, but it's like fucking surprised. airline stewardess is now like. Well, I'm sorry. I yeah, I can serve you anything. I can't serve you alcohol. Don't apply for a job that you can't fucking do. I used to be a Jehovah's Witness. I didn't actually go and work in a news agent because if I did, I would have to, I would have had to have sold uh, pornography magazines, and that was against my religion. So guess what? I didn't fucking go and get a job there, and then go. Oh my god, I can't do the job. You're not allowed to fire me, but I'm because I'm not allowed to do this thing. I didn't fucking apply to one. Everybody's like angry much. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm fed up of all these fucktards not doing their jobs. Everybody's got to fucking like work around other people. So I think Mozart <laughs> Symphony <laughs> Number Forty in G Minor. I think that one is in the running for the rant music. All right. Okay. It's whatever the one is that it's called that they actually played for JFK's funeral. It gets like. It gets furious at the end. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Why the fuck do you know what song they played for JFK's funeral? Because my band director back in like elementary or like middle school was like, that was like his favorite thing. And every morning we'd come into band at like 530 in the morning and he had it blasting in the band hall. I just can't remember the, what it was. But that one is, it gets like really, really intense. It's like violins and it's just like, ah. So that's kind of more Steve ranting. Uh, Big B says that's what they, that people at his work do. They pick and choose what they want and, and they will and they won't, won't do. And I think a lot of people actually do that. Yes, I was a band geek. Um, mm-hmm. I played saxophone and I was in drum corps. Nobody knew what a band geek was until American Pie came out. And then everybody was but like, all, all right. band geeks knew what band geeks were. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've heard <laughs> okay. about your escapades. <sighs> Yeah. It is. It's, yes, it's, one it's, time at band camp. It's exactly. this stupid thing now of like, you will go and willingly apply for a job that you know part of that job's duties you can't do because of whether or not it, it, it's... It, you know, whether or not it's a physical problem or a right. mental problem, yes, I'm classing religious things as mental, right? Whatever it is, you can't... You shouldn't be applying for a job because you are not fit to do that job. Yes, I said it. Are you listening to me Fucking pixie tard, you are not fit to work in Walgreens because you're not comfortable using scissors. Well, I think she just didn't want to like fuck it up because you kind of already told her that you'd already had problems with getting the right size and the and the imaging. So I no, think I she didn't. Just wasn't. Oh, no, I didn't. No, that was Maybe the first you guy. Just looked mean. Is this the same person that said you look like a terrorist? No, oh, okay. that was the last one. Oh, okay. Maybe you just looked mean and nasty. Like you I were swear like- to God, I nearly punched her full on in her face. A little pixie fucking face. I would have loved to have seen that stupid ass body fly across the floor. Bloody mess all over it. Oh, God. How are the scissors looking now, pixie tard? He has taken his blood pressure medicine, Lula. That's why he's still alive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is unbelievable. Uh, what is? What do you think about the Australian Australian cricketer that won't wear the team's uniform because it sponsors beer and he's a Muslim? No, then he needs to fucking leave. It is as simple as that. I am just done with this bullshit. If you don't like, right? If if for it, whether it's personal reasons, agrees. whether it's personal reasons or or it's religious reasons, and to me they're the same things, mm-hmm. right? A personal reason is no different to a religious one. You know why? Because nobody is fucking stopping you. You are stopping yourself because you believe something. So if you go, well, well, I shouldn't wear that uniform because it sponsors beer and I'm a Muslim, fucking leave the team. Get out. Uh, he wears the uniform, I guess. They, he, they just cover the logo up. 
I, you know, well, okay, in that in that aspect there, I'm like, if the sponsor's okay, well, no, because the sponsor was like, fucking asshole. Well, maybe he needs they paid less because when yeah, less I mean that's fine. I mean, if you want to do that, I that's I, I, I don't no care about that. I mean, if that's yeah, if the sponsor's okay with it, that's fine. But if the sponsor, to me, if I was paying like I don't know, like you know, ten million dollars for a team to wear a thing, and 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 a tenth of the team go. Yeah, I don't want to wear that. Well, it was just one person. It wasn't a tenth of the team. It was just one well, person. Well, it might be. I don't know if there's ten people in the cricket team. Oh, I have no idea. I think there is, isn't there? Or is there 20? I have 20? no I don't know. idea. Well, let's say that 10% of the team. 11. 11, there we go. Well, oh, God damn it. 1.1% <laughs> of the team go, uh, no. Oh, actually, that's 0.9, isn't it? Oh, somebody says that the sponsors well, like taking up trucks happen in every other sport. Why? I don't know. Well, you know, because look, people, I know, I know, and I think you that's know, really it, it weird. Is, we I, have got to stop this stupid pandering to people's feelings, for Christ's sake. If you want to... Look, the last time I checked, right, and as an ex-Jehovah's Witness, I'm aware of this. If you take on that badge, right, if you take on being a Jehovah's Witness or a Muslim or a Catholic or a Mormon or anything, you know it comes with certain things. As a Jehovah's Witness, I couldn't have anything to do with Christmas, Right? Nothing. I knew that going into it. Well, I didn't because my parents became it and I didn't have a choice. But I didn't go for a job that would involve me dealing with things with Christmas. Although that was part of the reason I got kicked out in the end. Yeah, I think, I think you know, they're kind of like trying, you know, Miguel says you're on the team where you got no choice, you know, and, you know, and Big B saying, you know, if he, he agrees, if you don't do your job, get the fuck on. You know, and I think the biggest thing is, is that, you know, I think people are trying to use their status, whether they're like cricket players or whatever, they're trying to use their status to make a political statement or a religious statement I of complete, some kind. I, I completely that's believe that religious people should be able to practice whatever they want unless it impacts that on others. However, when it comes to things like your job, mm-hmm. don't apply for that. You don't have a right to have that job. Right. Because... What? So I can turn around and go, well, actually, I don't want to serve any ugly people. Mm-hmm. Why? Well, that's my personal opinion. Would I get fired? Yes, of course I would. Why? Because I don't have some kind of fucking ideology stood behind me. So maybe I should make a religion called Hot Steves. Maybe. Hot Steves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and our okay, tenant and as a religion is, is we will only deal with beautiful people. So we'll go get jobs at like Burger King or something and go, uh uh-uh, uh, I ain't serving her. She ugly bitch. <laughs> wow. See? Oh, you can't do that. Yeah, I can. Religion of Steve. No, I don't I don't understand. You know, it's like the people, you know, if you know as a stewardess what your job duties are, then you shouldn't go apply for that job. You know, if, if you're you lucky, know you're gonna apply you're for that You're lucky a stewardess's mm-hmm. job duty isn't fucking giving hand jobs in first class. Uh Bigby wants to join Hot Steve's. Uh-huh. uh-huh. <laughs> The religion of hot Steves. I think that would be quite a good religion. Religion of hot uh-huh. Steves. I tell you, my heaven would rock, but hell would be even better. Actually, hell would be heaven, hell and heaven would be, would be hell. Heaven. Yeah. Yes. Because everybody that doesn't obey me will go to hell, yes. and that will be like heaven. So it'll basically be like a whole bunch of First mm-hmm. Baptists at a convention. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> well, probably be some kinky sex, I would imagine. Just unshaven, generally, probably. I, I just, I, I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm just sick yeah, and tired I'm, of that. I'm curious as to what Mar- Marcus is saying. You know, I think um, probably just Steve's is better. He's saying, "How is Steve going to create a religion called Hot Steve?" So I'm, I'm curious as to how you're going to do this. Somebody says, "Now you're sounding like a Scientology preacher." <laughs> do you know the difference between Scientology and Christianity? About a thousand years. That's it. That's the only difference. Right. So how are you going to create Hot Steve's? I can just form a religion. Okay. I can create a charity status. I can make it. It's not difficult. Oh, this is really tempting now. <laughs> this is very, very tempting. Church of Hot Steve's. Are we going to do it on Friday, the Sabbath day? Uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, do, like do you know what? I tell you what. Day. How many of the listeners would actually like... The, uh, the guy here with me is actually my husband. How many, how many of our listeners would actually like to form a religion? See, I know how to do really? this. Yeah, I can, fo- really yeah, I can apply for charity status. I can do that. I'm interested. If we get enough, we should all get together. Let's make a Facebook group or something so we can figure this out. 
Yeah. And it's going to be the most fucked up religion ever. Mike else says he's in. He wants to be one of the first members. Yeah. Um, you can be our Jesus Christ. <laughs> huh? Marcus said you're not hot. Marcus said it. Really? Uh, g Barn says we need less religion, not more. Marcus has just been disfellowshipped from a religion that hasn't even formed yet. <laughs> the religion of Steve, Mike. Oh, jeez. Don't feed him. Don't feed Steve him right Christ. now. <laughs> the religion of first Stephen. Well, that's your Christmas playlist Marcus on Spotify. Marcus has been excommunicated. He has. He has. <laughs> I will cast you out, and there you will have gnashing of teeth and great Something. grinder. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, the other guy is Ethan. That one. My son. That one. Yeah, that one. That one. Yeah, that Hello one. In Him over Russia. there. Well, hi. Yeah. yeah. Say hello to Putin for me. <laughs> go, hey, Putin, Steve says hi. And he'll go, oh, very good. Because <laughs> now I'm coming to Russia. <laughs> wow. Again. Not a lot of people know that that's how he actually talks. Oh, God. Um, uh, Mark says he's out on the new religion, but maybe his atheist pastor brother-in-law would like to join. How are you an no, atheist I'm not gonna, I, pastor? I, I'm an atheist pastor. Well, okay. Not really, because you uh, kind of... Yeah, I am. But you can't be an atheist I pastor. am an official. You, I know. I can do weddings. I no, you're you not can. an atheist. You're trying to start a new religion. Right. No, a religion. A no, 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 no. Because, no, an atheist is somebody that doesn't believe in anything theistic, right? My religion isn't going to be based on anything Okay, so you're theocratic. an atheist pastor. So if anybody would like Steve to marry you... Of course you can, Miguel. Uh -huh. One uh, of the main well, tenets of... Judging, judging our, our recent conversations... Um, inside grocery stores probably only on cocaine that's the only thing that's going to be allowed in the church <laughs> of had such Steve. a great conversation at the store the other day yeah yeah i would have loved to have been well pretty much any other person in that store <laughs> here in that conversation uh, somebody said yes atheism atheism is not a religion no it's not people don't understand that uh, Leonard says he wants to handle the religion of Lucky Leo with the Vegas section. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can have the Vegas chapter, brother. You got that one. <laughs> see that, and you see that, that's the biggest problem with atheists when you try and get them together. It's like herding cats. It's like nobody likes to be led, so it's it's very. But but this isn't. This is going to be different. Okay. Like for starters, the only females that can be allowed are hot ones. Okay. You literally will only be allowed in the religion if you look hot. Okay. How based absolutely on who's, misogynistic is that? Based That's on awesome. Whose who's opinion? Mine. Okay. So it's going to be one hundred percent middle aged guys. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Why well, it's starting to sound like the NFL, isn't it? And, and a lot of eighteen year old girls. Yeah, <laughs> just, yeah it is. <laughs> just put that out there. Um, no. My girl's going to handle Florida. All right. Yeah, I bet you will. <laughs> Both hands, huh? <laughs> Cupping. Oh, that's what we should call the oh, chapters. Says, well, so any of the ladies that would even try to join from Florida? Well, there's got to be some 18-year-olds that are fairly hot there. Uh, this going to join a religion called know, Hot Steve's. <laughs> led by a man who wears Iron Maiden t-shirts. Yeah, that's and right. linen. <laughs> linen. Well, when I'm preaching, I'll wear linen because it'll give me a more, you know, kind of... So everybody's, everybody's, everybody's kind of tuning yeah. in. They're like, why is what? he starting a religion? What is going on? Yeah, I, I'm... I, I'll I'll work out I'll work out some tenants. Uh, sorry, no. I'll have an epiphany this afternoon and scribble some stuff down, and you can all receive the new, the new light tomorrow. The new light. The new light. I'll come this up with no. I won't run. come up with the name. I will be given the name by our. Uh, oh shit! I, I give you coke it can't and be. at the same time and lock you in a bathroom <sighs> stall. <laughs> Do you know there's actually there's actually a religion in California that is legally allowed to use. Uh, LSD and cocaine because it's part of their religion, and they're allowed to use it. They're so allowed to keep it as well. So you're wondering where in the world you can go to have coke? I just and make my you own religion. Just go there. Well, no, I can make my own. Okay, I can make it as part of the the ritual. <laughs> see, that's that's how we see whether or not you're allowed to join or not. You you gotta you gotta lick the plate of cocaine. <laughs> Uh, no, it wasn't in Spain. It was actually in L.A. Yeah it was, yeah, it was in L.A. Yeah, it was in L.A. Oh, is it the guy that used to be like a TV actor? Or he, he was like a movie actor. He was like, you know. No, no, this is like, no. It's um, it's Latin-based. Okay. But I can't remember exactly what. So it's but, like uh, Catholic. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool, there you go. Miguel will take up all the tenets of the new religion as well. Uh, Lois wants to know, why did Steve go from Jehovah's Witness to atheism? Was he molested? <laughs> it's a 
legitimate question. Who said? Who asked that? Lowe's. Okay, Lowe's. Um, hey, basically, like um, if I had been Mar- Spanish Coke is the best, by the way. If I, all right, now we're on. <laughs> yeah, we're going there. Um, no, if I had been molested as Jehovah's Witness, I would still be in because I kind of like it. Okay, kind of like it. Yeah, somebody said you like being touched. Uh huh. Yeah, I do. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, hello in the UK, and that is Steve. Disappointing, I know. Mm-hmm. I know, I married above the bar. That's not what they're saying. They're just wanting to know who the hell you they're are. Like, who the fuck uh, is this? I, I put in the title, you know, Steve Rant. So just like, who the fuck is Steve the one speaking? I'll right. Ra- I'll ra- I get you know. very fed up with people. Yes. See, you, see, this all. See, this is how. This is how Rome fell, right? Because somebody, <laughs> basically, somebody like me was like, I've had enough of Rome. It's all full of fucking idiots, right? And they started a movement, and Rome collapsed. You see, right now... <laughs> Big B said, you can't molest the willing. And on a slave note, our male escort is back in the room in Periscope. Hey, yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, yes, I, I'm married to Steve. We've got a lot of new listeners coming oh, in okay. just going, what is going on? <sighs> That's a good idea, actually. Yeah, sorry, I'm... I'm I'm like, I, you see, this all started because somebody said the whole reason they didn't reply to me was because they were observing the Sabbath. I don't have a problem with that. Just the fact see, that they don't pre-warn you. You know, it's like, yeah. you know, I, I, I mean, I run a business. If I decided that my religion, basically, we don't work Monday to Friday. Right. Right. I would probably have to let all my customers know that. By the way, we don't answer any calls Monday to Friday because it's our sababa bath. Well, you can't choose, like, the entire week. Why not? Oh, really? Now you're oppressing me. You're <laughs> oppressing I? my religion. Am yeah, I? yeah, you're persecuting me. Yeah. Fuck, where's Congress? Like I need it, some religious you know laws passed now. I need to get Mitt Romney on the phone. <laughs> and marriage is going to be banned. Okay. You know Leonard just got married, right? I know. Okay. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> yeah, because you can All the rules ass. in marriage are going to be removed. There's rules in marriage? Yeah, Sorry, like you have to be ma- malygamous. Okay. I think everybody should be polyamorous. <laughs> I'm using words I don't know now. I was about to say. Oh, God. Baby says I can't repress you guys. He's going to call us Congress mm-hmm. guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. See, that's what we need to do. Yes, we just, Marcus, that is very we true. Sh- and you know what? We all joke about this, but the reality is because of all this fucking pc shit that's going on that now when did people start having feelings that can be hurt that that's just beyond me but what's going to happen is people are going to start actually somebody is going to take this shit to court and it's going to be and some idiot judge is going to rule right that your feelings are equivalent to a religion and at that point pretty much every country that has that law will fall apart because how many people do things at their job that they don't really like doing? Well, right now oh, our sorry. Chicago Fire guy is listening and he's like, I really wish I could keep listening, but we keep having calls that I have to keep taking, <laughs> so I keep coming in and out of conversations. So um, there's one. <laughs> uh, if you want, you can route the calls to my cell phone if you prefer. <laughs> we'll let you know it's straight there on. My house is on fire! <laughs> uh, hi, this is the Jane and Steve show. It's burning down! I think he's still taking his calls. He's just missing our show. So oh, he's, you know, that would be priorities, really cool. dude. Wouldn't that be awesome if I had the 911 calls rerouted to my cell phone? Jordan, or Jordan wants to know, Steve, how's your son? How's my son? Oh, that must be Connor's friend. Oh, uh, it doesn't look like a kid. Is it not? Uh-huh. I don't know. Oh, and, and our Chicago fireman's off. He said, gotta go, bell's ringing. Oh, <laughs> ding, ding. <laughs> Must run. He's got to be a hot fireman. Yes, Steve is British. Yes, I am. I I, I don't know. You have, like, one of... Uh, no, kids. I seem to remember, like, I think either Callum or Connor's friend. like an friend. adult. Uh, really? His picture looks like an adult. I, one of them has somebody... He, they have a friend called Jordan, so I'm assuming it's that. You shouldn't uh, be listening to the show. Looks like an, oh, his, his thing is Jordan too high for life. He's 21, so I'm thinking he's not. Why are you messing with young boys? I don't think. What, are you a Catholic? Maybe you a he's priest? talking about Ethan. Like, how Do you have a friend Ethan? called Jordan? No. No, but okay. they know you, they not know, Ethan. They know me. Yeah, they said, Steve, how's your son? So, 
What Jesus Christ? <laughs> oh, maybe maybe it's one of uh, the. He says he's Gary Glitter. Server Minecraft dude. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm wondering. Yeah, could be. Could be. He says he's Gary Glitter. <laughs> <laughs> Are you really? <laughs> All right. Well, enjoy your tie, boys. Because... And hello to Chris Funny Vegetarian that just joined us. <laughs> it is pretty funny. <laughs> Vegetarians like are great. That. I think every household should have one. <laughs> kind of like a dog, really. You just feed them stuff on the floor. Here's some lettuce. Wow. I'm practically vegetarian if I didn't eat meat. Right. <laughs> just saying. Oh, that, that reminds me of somebody... Like everybody else on the planet. <laughs> well, you know, I can't help but starting off something so, that everybody follows. Um, so we got a quick question. I kind of want to talk about like what else I've got on the Periscope yeah. uh, title. Oh, okay. Um, and I've had a lot of people actually give me the answer. But um, my question was, what is one thing you want to achieve in life? And the vegetarian says he's much healthier than you. That's oh, I know. Hard. That's really not hard. Honestly, a corpse is only mildly <laughs> more unhealthy than I am. Somebody says wealth. Very basic. Want they want no, wealth. But, okay. So want to know I'm going to call you do. on that. No, I'm going like, to call you on that one because define uh, wealth. I don't. I don't think. I don't think it's like. Yeah, of course. That's everybody the thing. Would like it's to be a title. Rich. Right. We want to know something you'd like to achieve. Like, do you want to be an astronaut someday? Or, you know, what is one thing you actually want to achieve in life? Something you want to do. Kind of like, you know, the whole bucket list idea. I want to know what you really want to do. Night Smacker says he wants to find love. Uh, Jordan wants to teabag Trump during his lifetime. Uh, Sandy says just love and health and family. Uh, Miguel wants to make it to England. That's not hard, mate. I mean, unless you're on the no-fly zone. (laughs) List. List. (laughs) Whatever. Uh, Somebody said wealth, health, and stealth. You guys are really basic. I want to know, know something you want to do. Somebody wants to kill a demon. Good luck with that one. See, that's oh, cool. Lick Lolly like says, I, li- I want to write a bestseller. Now, see, there's some ambition. I like it. It is. Yeah. Steve wants mm-hmm. to start a new religion. Uh, somebody wants to go to Florida. Uh, Jeez, vegeta- broaden your horizons vegeta- for fuck's sake. I don't think he's here. <laughs> I uh, don't the vegetarian care. says love and success. <laughs> but we want but we want to, okay, Marcus, that is fantastic. And that just proves you and Steve are brothers. He wants to make <laughs> enough money to be above the law. <laughs> uh, you don't actually have to make enough money to be above the law. You just need to know the right people. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, Miguel wants to make it to England with his new religion. Uh, Big B wants badass cars and motorcycles. Uh, somebody wants to start up Pug Lives uh, are, you know, just as important. Pug, pug lives, lives pug Matter. Pug Lives Matter movement. Yeah, he wants to start no, that. Pug what? Lives don't matter. They're just important. <laughs> wow, now you're impressing him. Um, uh, <laughs> um, <clears throat> somebody says it's not who you know, it's who you blow. I think that was for Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is pretty so, much So, I mean, fun. I'm curious. What what are your, like, total ambitions? Like, Lick Lolly wants to write a book. I mean, that's something that, you know, she's really got to work on to mm-hmm. achieve. g well, yeah. wants to have his own radio show. There you go. You see, yeah. but all of these things are something uh-huh. that you could do. Somebody wants to that's start the their own point. business, start a movement, and be a music artist. Is that all from one person? Yes. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. Well, you could Busy. basically, if you start a business. Uh, Stephen wants to have a threesome of... with two other women. Um, Jordan wants to drive a McLaren. Uh huh. If we were staying mm-hmm. here, you could have driven mine because I so would have bought one as well. A McLaren. Yeah, okay. yeah, they're really cheap okay. to buy. Y'all were cars, mm-hmm. Really mm-hmm. cheap to buy. They are. You can get one for like one twenty. A fucking McLaren. That's actually not a bad price. I could rent that shit out for like two days a month and pay for the payments on it. Be easy. Uh, Somebody must be president. Of what? The US, I'm assuming. Oh, okay. He's got like a four wheeler on his picture, so I'm guessing he's in the United <laughs> States. I'm just saying. Start campaigning uh, in the South. Somebody wants to race a decent race car. Uh, Jordan wants to own Taco Bell. Okay. okay. Well, you could do that through shares. Right. Uh-huh. Uh, Look like says she also wants to write songs and have a famous singer perform them. But you see, and you see, this is the cool thing. They mm-hmm. become the famous singer and perform them. Yeah. Well, that's what Tim Rice mm-hmm. did. I mean, Tim Rice basically wrote all of Elton John's songs, and he's as rich as Elton John, uh, but stays Leonard out of the limelight. Leonard says he wants to help blokes pick up women black style. Leonard, you can't teach that to <laughs> white folk, just, just so you're aware. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know how you black Gary, guys manage it, but Gary you can't teach to that to white guys. See, oh, you see, you and Miguel need to get together there on that you go. one. Uh huh. Uh, Big B would like to have a successful car customization shop. See, these are see, see these, these are, cool, are like and change your name are, to Exhibit. Th- yeah, yeah, that's right. 
Uh, but they, you see, these are all goals. Somebody wants to party with Snoop Dogg? See, totally doable. <laughs> yeah. I, all of these are completely achievable. We haven't heard one... I mean... Miguel uh, wants to do a weekly radio show. <laughs> now that I okay, have that's you for. not doable. <laughs> now, yeah, I was saying all of these are doable that's, and then Miguel had to mention like, that. You know, that's Damn just, it. you know, calm down, <laughs> calm down, you know. Let's, oh, let's God, put a, let's put a cap on Miguel, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's just uh, bi-weekly. Let's just do bi-weekly. Let's Lotus start out with... Scotland, who just joined us. The whole of Scotland just joined us? Yes. Wow. Mm-hmm. Open up, darling. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, I just... <laughs> Night Smoker says he should become a real life hitch. There you go. You see. Steve wants to be able to give himself a blowjob, and G Bard wants to own a pub. That's in no particular order. <laughs> I. Mm. Uh, Jordan wants to shake your hand as well. So he wants to party with Snoop Dogg and shake your hand. We you are very to unlikely to be in the same room. As black as I am, Snoop Dogg pisses me <laughs> yeah. off to no end. Because wow. yeah, he's fake. There you go. Said it. What do you have a problem with? You really have a problem he with Snoop Dogg. Yeah. You've actually he, brought that up a lot. Yeah, ever before. ever since he said, ever since he had a throwback Thursday to, to Paul Walker. <laughs> yeah. And he thought it meant tabletop. She mm-hmm. hated him ever since. Yeah. yeah. It's, my on, it's, it's my ongoing feud with Snoop Dogg that he has no idea it even exists. <laughs> Yay, me. Hey, Steph. She just joined us. <clears throat> I am not your people. Let's so, just get that clear. Uh, <laughs> Fucking keep these listeners in check. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so, you know, Big B is like saying, yeah, Miguel, that is a total stretch. So let's just, you know. So, yeah, so for everybody else that's just joining, all the we're ones talking about I've heard the ones, are completely what the one doable. Thing, what is the one thing you want to achieve in life? Yeah, because, like, nothing is out of bounds except for maybe Miguel's. I mean, Miguel's is just out there. That is just not <laughs> may I may I may, may I add something to that question for everybody? What is, what are you actually doing to accomplish those goals? Yes. Because they're only ever stay dreams unless you actually start moving towards them. I'm kind of interested of what. Somebody wants to marry me. Somebody wants to drive a Mini Cooper in reverse on I 95 while eating tacos. Oh, hello in, um, like, that'd New England. That'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be cool. We could do that. I'm sure it's already been done as well. I mean, you can do it. It's just oh, you know. G Barge is studying radio show hosting right now, so see, he's already kind oh, of so working you're, on his. You're right actually, now. you want to actually go into like broadcasting like, itself. He wants to be like a real radio show person, right. not like us. It's so. a real radio show. <laughs> yeah, don't forget a towel. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, somebody wants to win the lottery every Saturday. Why? See, oh. my question to think okay, like that. G okay, G Barge. He's studying okay. radio show broadcasting by watching us. Dude, you need to get another dream then. You need to get another dream. Um. Go join Speaker, right? You can even get a free one. I think it's free. Or it's like, not or it's, oh, whatever. I'm not saying it. Spreaker. Spreaker. Sounds like money penny. Um. Oh. Uh, Big B keeps dreaming about achieving his dreams. Uh, yeah, so, mm-hmm. uh, somebody wants to spend 48 hours with Lisa Ann. Who's Lisa I think she's Ann? a porn star, isn't she? It would probably be quite disappointing. Based off his comments, I'm going to say she's probably a porn star. Gonna, okay. 48 <laughs> hours. Chances uh, chances are, okay, here's the thing. If she's over 30, you can probably actually get her for... I think she's like, I think she's like an older one. Oh, she is. She'd totally do escorting. Most of them mm-hmm. offer that. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, Lisa Ann, porn star. She's 44. Yeah, you could totally bang her. Yeah, that's right. Um, uh, Spreaker does 30-minute sh- shows for free, Miguel says. There you go. You know. There you go, you see? So he could do go like start a, it. one a month. I wonder if they do free shows for like once a month shows. <laughs> when they feel like it. No, they start charging you when you're not consistent. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I go on and do it. I, I mean, simply just switch it on and, 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 mm-hmm. and do it. I, I mean, there's absolutely nothing stopping you because they have desktop software. So you don't, as long as you've got a mic on your computer or laptop, you can actually do one. Mm-hmm. And there's very few so of us. So what do you want to achieve? Hmm? What do you want to achieve? Uh, I, I honestly. <laughs> oh my god, wants to troll Vegas Bros. <laughs> 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 I think that's why he's in the Periscope room today. I, 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 yeah, he's waiting, isn't he? He's sat in the <laughs> wings. I want to be an MMA fighter, <laughs> yeah, bro. I think he showed up earlier. Actually, Leonard says he wants to party with me and Steve and Ethan. We'll be very disappointing. Well, until I get drunk. Yeah. And then it's on. <laughs> okay, so you'll be disappointed Lick for about Lolly. one drink. Yeah. Luke Lolly would like to know what Steve would like to do. 
do you want what to achieve I would like in life? To do. Yeah. I actually what I would like to do is to play on stage alongside Iron Maiden. Play what? I no. <laughs> I actually wouldn't want to do that because I'm really not that good a drummer. <laughs> so I'd be completely shamed. No, I, I, no, actually what I personally would like to do is, is kind of actually what we're doing, is actually traveling the world. Okay. So that's your And I actually, I would goal. like mm-hmm. to speak, um, I would like to do a, uh, like more speaking engagements for businesses to just basically help people get businesses running. Okay, so you do that and you're about to do that. Mm-hmm. So... I'm fulfilling okay. my goals. Uh, somebody wants to make a girl orgasm 30 times. Somebody wants to be Batman. And Lake Wally thought your idea was awesome. Jesus Christ. Do it, yeah. it's, to me, it's like that. <laughs> for everything, look, I, I, and I'm, I'm not trying to preach here at all. But, I mean, it's like we've gone down the route of, like, you know, the houses, the cars, and all kind of the cool stuff. And it's like none of that actually mattered. When we had it, all we did, we were chasing more. And now I'm like... This whole idea of fucking seeing as much of the world as I can before I die and helping as many... I, I'm not really big on helping people because <laughs> okay. I don't like people generally, but I like people that actually Charity wanna... shaming is bad. What? Charity shaming is bad. Charity shaming is bad, yeah. <laughs> Charity <laughs> shaming hurts everyone. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to help people... Or I would, like, I would like to see if I could help people that actually are wanting to help themselves. Yeah. So that's why business people kind Big of B also me. has a very humble um, request. He'd also like for I Steve follow to follow you, on, you Twitter. on Twitter. Maybe, maybe you don't. Do I not? Maybe not. Talk a minute. I'm talking. All right. um, yeah, Rose, that is Ethan's chair that is squeaky. I told you you can hear it on the fucking <laughs> audio. God It's the damn first it. thing Rose says today. Not hi. Hey, guys. Missed you guys over the weekend. Not that you didn't come see me and Dustin. <laughs> Are you seriously? It's like being well, I don't know. Why do, why do I have somebody with a giant cock following me? Uh, I don't know. Isn't that standard I don't, protocol? I don't know. <laughs> Might be. Oh. He's, Done. He's, I, did, I missed he it. He is Sorry, now mate. following you, Big B. Slacker. Oh, Jesus. Wow. I, I just... <laughs> John Wilson. There we go. Oh, he's following me. There you go. I got it. <laughs> Oh, I'm all... Wow, Jesus, I actually missed some of these people. I'm sorry, guys. Rose says you guys will have another chance. If you guys I'm are probably going to die before the second chance. <laughs> yeah. It's wow. like waiting for Jesus, you isn't it? You guys are, like, destined to, like, meet for a photo. It's going to happen, right? Mm. Oh, Big B says his dreams have not come true, so... He has nothing to achieve in life. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Marcus says, sorry, Steve, he'll change his Twitter picture for you. He doesn't want you to, like, feel like, you know... Feel yeah, bad. I, yeah, I was, I was, I was actually feeling slightly. It was Small. weird. It was some, like some foreigner. It's okay. just a huge picture of a cock, or a, it's pic- a picture of a, of a huge, huge cock. cock. Okay, yeah. I don't know actually. I didn't really check the finger size. Hold on. Really? Well, that's how that's, you can tell. Really, can't right you? Now? Reopen, close tab. <laughs> He's done that before. No, because uh, you could Photoshop that. That's why, like, Dirty Word has. Oh no, thing. it's not huge at all. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Um, wow. Steph's achievement, what she'd like to achieve is she would like to lose 50 pounds and travel all the Caribbean islands. Again, totally doable. Totally doable. Move out of Texas for starters and move to New England because nothing's fucking open. It's impossible for you to like eat too much here. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Believe is me, that, I've, I've been way, trying for a year. Secrets. You don't eat too much at restaurants. You just get a ton of shit from 7-Eleven. I know, but at least... <laughs> no, but it's so much easier because in Texas, it's like they've got like, you know, they've got Chick-fil-A and they've got uh, Canes and then they've got the barbecue place and they've Are got all hungry? these... You're fucking okay. starving. <laughs> you know, I'm just like, oh. Okay, for breakfast this morning as you're eating your My cereal, the same just step, like, actually. I got 50 pounds to lose. You were just like, wow, I could eat Indian right now. This is at like 10 a.m. Mm-hmm. He's sitting there eating cereal, just going, I'm starving. I could eat Indian right uh-huh. now. Yeah, I could. I'm going to play tennis again today. Are you? Yes. Well, no, I'm going to try and hit it back. Ethan is going to play tennis, and I'm going, <laughs> I'm going to run in a very, very retarded fashion backwards and forwards on the court I and collapse. It's pretty this. shocking how he runs, actually. I might periscope this funny. later. So, for all you listeners, make sure to be following me because. I probably I've got just enough. I'm just gonna swear. I've got just enough. Like oh know, really? Yeah, Wi-Fi. Over he there. starts out with like a, he he's bouncy. He's bouncy <laughs> when he runs, and yeah. then he stops being bouncy and starts being tired and swearing. <laughs> uh huh. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So 
See, but that's the cool thing. You see, everybody's got goals, right, that, that I think are, that they could really easily yeah. do. And I think it's an absolute travesty if yeah. you're not doing something. I'm, I'm not turning mm-hmm. this into a motivation show, but yeah. it's, I think it's a travesty if you don't do something towards it towards that goal every day uh, marcus's goal is uh, he says soccer season starts this weekend so it's time to defend their championship achievable no not really really yeah they already he, won he they're to, already current champions of course it's achievable aim lower you should aim lower second place see if you can get moved into the end of fives group that is not a fun <laughs> that is not a fun age to coach where's my medal all. i took pie turned up where's my medal come here Anyway, so yeah, a lot of people are really quiet about the whole achievement thing. I don't know. You know did people not like to like share that? Or yeah, I think know. sometimes it's personal with people. They probably don't like it because I'm calling them out on it. So, so you know, you somebody wanting want to, to win travel. the lottery every weekend is pointless. What What are you going to do with that? What? Oh well, I Matt, and that's well, why you have money. And a lot of people are saying they no. have wealth, and that's kind I, of and, like. And believe me, right? It doesn't matter. Well, maybe to, it's to the point, you know, so they, that they have just like tons of money. I'm about to lose battery on here. Really? Um, mm-hmm. um, uh, yeah, I mean, maybe to the point that if you have a lot of money, if you keep winning the lottery every Saturday or something, you know, you can just do whatever you want. Do you not have a charging thing that you can plug in? No, no it doesn't reach. Oh, hang on. It's okay. It's okay. It, we're almost done anyway. No, we're it's, not. We have 13 like minutes. 10 minutes, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mark says they play in the over 30 division. The U5 kids probably kick their ass. Probably. <laughs> they could probably run longer. I'm going to wipe myself up. Just talk. What are you doing? Oh, oh, oh. oh okay. Well, I didn't know if you were like taking it like and moving right. it or whatever. No. Okay. There you go. Stick that up there. <laughs> in there before. Yeah. Okay. And this is going to hurt a little bit. Uh huh. Um, maybe not. There we go, you I see? I can do this. All right. I can um, Well, there you go, and Big B. there. Mm-hmm. Oh, there you go. Big Start B has another room to become an Olympic shooter. On, on follow up. Don't, don't do movie like, theaters. It's I, been done. I think he's talking about, like, you know, um, bow and arrow. Oh, I thought you meant injections, like Olympic yeah, heroin like shooter. Yeah, like Olympic heroin. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just like that. <laughs> I didn't know the Olympics had finished. Yeah, I think they finished like Saturday, Friday, Saturday. It's really the funny. Sabbath, when, I'm when, not really sure. Okay. <laughs> How could they finish it on that day? Everybody just went, eh, whatever. Yeah, I wonder if some maybe didn't show up like for the final like Olympic closing ceremony because it was their Sabbath. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they'd make an exception then. See, that's what I always found mm-hmm. funny with Jehovah's Witnesses. You know, they would hold all the tenets of their religion until, and it's the same with all of you religious people, you get to a point and you go, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm not going to do that. And you know the mm-hmm. difference between somebody that does? What? Well, you know, the people that you, like, will... You, like, half questioned that. Oh, did I? Yeah. Oh, forget <laughs> it. Don't worry. Okay. All right. What else did you want to say? Um, Is something else you were doing? Oh, we're meant to be giving something away today, but I don't know what you... Yes, we've got... Um, right here, we've got... We're actually... Just, just so we're very clear... Well, I can see me in the mirror. That's kind of cool. Kind of we are go- we're actually going to do a huge giveaway got- in the next few days, which is going to be tons yes. and tons of stuff. Yes, we have a free... Oh, there we go. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. See Ethan in that? That is messed up. <laughs> no. No. Okay. Hang on. There we go. I can no. see you. Stay there. Stay there. Nice. Okay, so we're going to be giving away this free ship dick mm-hmm. mirror. It's a dick mirror. It's a selfie dick. It's a, it's a dick selfie. A, it's how a is dick it a se- selfie? Look at it. <laughs> fucking look at it. It's, what is it doing? It's a mirror. It's a fucking selfie. It's a dick selfie. Check okay. it out on their website. Oh, okay. Is that what it's supposed to be? And yeah. then we also got these really cool, like, like what are they called? Um, oh, koozies. Jesus Christ. Do you need me to do this? Yes. What? What are they called? Like can coolers. Yeah, they're like called... Co- koozies. koozies koozies right yeah there's you a pink put, and a blue one there's a pink and a blue I say party yes and they're called koozies they're called koozies <laughs> yes see I was right fucking yanks fucking hell seriously so yeah yeah okay it is called the dick koozie there you go there you go dick koozies 
So we're going to give these away. So how are we giving these away? I don't know, Jane. You said that you had that covered. I said I didn't want to do something today (laughs) because I'm trying to work out a big thing. I was not the one that made the post on our Facebook page, the Jane and Steve show. It says, hey, we're giving away a dick today. And I said, hey, how are we giving it away? And you're like, I have no idea. (laughs) Then fuck Actual it. Cancel that. You, are, you, you guys are not having that today. Give me about uh, two. Th- th- I'm, I I'm think... coming. No. Don't do it. Uh, don't do it. Because I'm going to give a shit ton away. Okay. There's going to be just tons of stuff. Okay. This is going to be like a real cool grab bag. Okay. Right? It's going to be, it's going to have a bag of dicks in it. It's going to have the selfie dicks. Okay. Uh, it's going to have the Pokemon dick in it. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff. Tons of tattoos and things like that in it, right? Okay. And we're going to do so a proper... Like a huge dick bag. Yeah, yeah. It's a dick box. It's going to be the ultimate bag of dicks. Okay, so we're getting all of our dicks away. Mm-hmm. Before we've even had a chance to assess our dicks. I've yes. already assessed it. You see all the fucking Ziploc bags down there? I'm oh, busy, motherfucker. Get on and do that shit. So we're going to do that, and we'll actually set up a, a contest. It will be on Twitter and Facebook, so you can do it either, either way. And uh, yeah, and then there we go, and we'll run it for whatever, and then you'll win. It'll be a shitload of stuff. I'll list it all down and take photos of it and stuff. So we'll do, we'll do that. We'll do that as a big giveaway. Um, and yeah, and if you use uh, JS Love Dick, yes, as a coupon code on Shipper Dick, mm-hmm. you'll, they'll actually give you twenty percent off because mm-hmm. apparently he has been busy with dicks. Apparently, I'm literally worth just the tip. When it comes to a coupon, because twenty percent is really about the tip, isn't it? <laughs> See, so literally, literally, you get just the tip um, as a discount. Yeah. So everybody's like, I went in on this, um, mm-hmm. and uh, look, all I just left and twenty percent. Um, yeah, and I also, we also will have, um, uh, we also have complete. We have some coupons which are yeah. completely free, dicks. So you can just enter that at checkout, yeah, and we're everything's have taken care some of. Some wacky competitions. Send Steve a picture with a sharpie in your asshole. Mm-hmm. There you go. You get a free dick. Yes, Lick Wally. She did the That's post. That's not an official competition yet, though. Not yet. <laughs> Who did what post? Um, oh, oh, yeah. The one we did so last week. Scottish girl. Is her last name is Dick. Is it really Dick? <laughs> I, 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 I'd like... I'd oh, you're not... You're not... 100%. A... What? Seriously? Okay, your name I is need... like Vari Dick? I need to... <laughs> Hang on a minute. Oh, oh yeah. is your dad famous? Really? Yeah. I just said look for her on Facebook. No. Oh. <laughs> Slow down. Well, because Fish from Marillion uh, has a daughter. Somebody said... And his last name is Dick. Oh. Somebody said the last time they got Dick was from a man, Brighton. Yeah. I'm disappointed now. <laughs> I was just going to get really... Because Marillion is my best fucking so... group ever. Oh, actually, the Scottish chick should know who Marillion are. Yeah. So, Luke Lally says she needs dick. <laughs> Don't we all love? So yeah, so tomorrow we do this? Yeah, this is all going to be, this is all to do with, tomorrow, yeah. so all those that did it last week as well, yep. um, that's why I said we've got to arrange a proper giveaway. So we'll give that away mm-hmm. as you've now kind of said it. But you still haven't told them what to do, I, have I, you? Oh, so we are giving this away today. No, we're not. No. No, we're not. No, we're not. Well, listen we're tomorrow. Not. Make sure to follow. Mm-hmm. Listen tomorrow. It's just a dick tease. Gonna, the show yeah. Yeah. Tease. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes. We are. yes, we will send it to Scotland if you win. <laughs> <laughs> Miguel, I don't want a picture of you with a sharpie. He has a huge sharpie named Vicky. He got gypped. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know if all those comments are supposed to go together, but if they weren't, it was fucking fantastic just to stick them all together. Oh, Mike so. is saying for me to check my Twitter before the end of the show. Oh, okay. Sorry, Mike. I didn't see that, mate. Hold on. Okay. Uh, 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 yeah, we will send it kind of anywhere if you guys can. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. What? That's exactly what, what I need. What has Mike done? Picture of me. Uh, what is that? That's like a religious hat. It's oh, like fantastic. A, it's like Pope Steve. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's fine. God, really like he that. needs like that encouragement. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, God. Go. Retreating okay. that out. Um, uh, yeah, yeah our, our Scottish girl, she said she would like this. She would keep it in her handbag and use it for when she needs to do her makeup. <laughs> <laughs> See, that would be awesome. So do you... So that's that's why I asked whether or not your dad was famous, because obviously... Look Hollywood too. Uh, no, I don't think so. No, because so. Fish no. is obviously Marillion, but his actual right. name is... You said... 
Dick William Dick or something. Yeah, I she don't said know. no, her, her dad is not famous at Damn all. Damn it. Like, Stop trying to hope for that. It's, Damn it. Nothing's going to happen. I You're was, not going like, to get in. I was going to give you so much shit. We, we, I was going to send you so His much dick. His name is dick. John. Oh. Her dad's name is John. It's not like... John you know. Dick? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I bet you he's a big fucker as well. Because with a name like that, you know, you just John come in. Dick. What's your name? John Dick. She says she's probably related to some dicks that are famous, though. Yeah, there can't be the... Uh, can't. Hang on, am I getting it wrong? Hang on, I don't. Think, I think I'm getting Fish's name wrong. Okay. Do you like fish dicks? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, uh, what is his name? Yeah, Derek William Dick, better known as Fish. Okay. From my favorite band ever. Well, they were they were my favorite yeah, band so up until like them, up until Fish left, and then they went shit because they had that Mamby Pamby fucking Tard sing for them. Uh, somebody went on my Twitter and said, I'll give you a dick. No, we're giving you a dick. Oh, God. Do we really have to explain <laughs> he's, no, this? No, no, no. He's just trying to, you know. Yeah. I, I know. I'm yeah. just trying to be a dick back. Mm-hmm. See? <sighs> Tune into the show tomorrow so you can I learn st- how you win I the dick. I still lie. I, see, I have to. <laughs> see, what I like is that Shipper Dick actually had to go into a bank and go, I'd like to open a bank account called Shipper Dick. <laughs> Just, that's got to be the best meeting ever. You know the That'd utilities cool. company for his office? Oh, what's the name of the company? Shipper Dick. Yeah. Sewage collection? Shipper Dick. Isn't that cool? It's pretty cool. Get arrested for speeding. Who do you work for? Shipper Dick. I'm sorry, sir. You were, you were going 55 in a 30. Oh, wow. what, why are you so hurried? So, 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 so Scottish girl, she said uh, she can't call for carry out and use her last name because they think it's a prank. So she actually has to use her middle name as her last name. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's pretty awesome, though. That's a, yeah. That I, is pretty cool, I, right? That is neat. That is neat. So it's a, it's a curse, but it's kind of a funny curse. Mm, yeah. Uh-huh. She's not laughing. But no. yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay, so yeah, okay. Well, we should just we should send her one of those dick mirrors just because yeah. it's her last name. She needs one. I know. Because yeah. she needs one. I know, but that's sending it all the way to fucking Scotland. Yeah, I know. You said you'd send it anywhere if anybody <sighs> won. Yeah, I guess so. Fuck. You didn't have like small font saying offers. No, it's not, not Marcus. It is actually no, it's not their DBA. They it's actually what? their. It's an LLC. Hmm? We'll ship it anywhere if you win, except for such and such countries. They're too <laughs> far away. Oh, I got, I got to send her dick. She's called Dick. <laughs> I know. And for I a know, girl to be called it. Dick, that's just, man, she must get, oh, God. The amount of jokes she must, that's you funny. must get horrible jokes from guys in nightclubs. Like, oh, not jokes, imagine. but like, I oh, yeah. Imagine. I what? Imagine. what, does she just Dick's go up to people name? and say, my name is Dick? Well, if anybody says, I suppose her, la- her it's name her is. It's her ID. That's her name. Oh. That's her, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. You don't get checked your ID in Britain because we're not a free country like America where your ID gets checked everywhere. <laughs> so I guess they don't. See, did anybody, you know, has she ever been pulled over and kind of the coppers looked at the thing and went, ah, you can go. Because that, that's, you know. Because she's got, like, a shitty name. It's not. It's a cool name. Would you like to have that last name? No. I would have not taken your name, though, if that was would your you name. Would you not? If your name was Steve Dick. <laughs> it should be. <laughs> it should be, really. I would not have changed my name. It should be. Definitely should be. But, yeah, no, Shipper Dick is an LLC, I believe. I think. I did look that up. Damn it. That's okay. Do you really have to do it now? Yes, I do. Because <laughs> that's bugging me. But I, I'm, like, 99% sure... Uh, in terms of service, here we go. This is where it'll be. Yeah, Shipper Dick LLC. That's pretty cool. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like every single thing he, it's like when he orders stuff. You know, it's like, yeah, I, I need a new, I need a new mouse for my computer. Okay. Company name Shipper Dick. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how much free stuff he gets just from having a fucking mm-hmm. awesome business name. What Shipper Dick? Yeah. I don't know. See, I would give somebody free stuff. Just the fact of having a, like a name like that. I don't know. That's That'd just... be pretty cool. I guess. Why for a business? I wouldn't want it for what a What were the other name? name? I, I, one of our listeners came up. What was it? Post a penis and mail a member, wasn't it? I think Those that were was the two. Ethan, post a penis, wasn't it? What? Post a penis? Post a penis. Wasn't that the one you came up with? The name? And he mail did. a member. But I don't think. No, it wasn't me. Oh, was it me? Mail post a, a member. 
Mail a member. Somebody said that. I think that was Bigby. Or it might have been Miguel. I don't remember. I don't know. See, so many ways they could have gone, yet they they tried to keep it pure. And went ship a dick. That rolls off the tongue better. (laughs) I said tongue. Okay. Are we done? Apparently. (laughs) Well, no, I'm trying to get us back on time. Listeners, do you remember when I always used to refuse to... to end the show unless we could end on a joke and how that has just fallen yes fallen away yes I mean you're the reality so is funny anymore what you're just not as funny anymore really uh huh <laughs> they're they're FAQs mm-hmm. how thick is the dick <laughs> dicks are made of one fourth inch double walled gluten free free range certified orgasmic cardboard what they lack in thickness they deliver like a creed slow jam in beauty and grace <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> see, I love it when companies do something and and are more normal. Yes, I got no jokes for today. I I know you have no jokes. I don't know. I'm just trying to keep you back on your time because you kind of like rant for like an extra twenty thirty minutes now. And that's I don't. Like I don't. Not, I don't. Uh-huh. I didn't rant. I ran, I stopped at I, half past twelve. I, I know. I know. But you'll probably get into something. So I'm just trying to keep you to. Well, I'm not getting into anything. I was reading hour. the terms of service on Shipper Dick. <laughs> right. I'm not really going to get angry That's over that. That's not funny. <laughs> Actually, I haven't. I, I bet you. I, I bet you that there, there's yes, probably Marcus, that some is an funny stuff. right there. Mm-hmm. Well, I was reading the terms of service on yes, Shipper Dick. Yes. Fair enough. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I always like to know my rights for Shipper Dick. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. I, I will. I, I will put together like a huge bag of dicks today. <laughs> And um, I'll I'll work out the competition. We'll launch it tomorrow. Um, but for the people already tweeting stuff out, we will uh, send one of you something. And uh, and we got to send we got to send the chicken Scotland. You have to send us proof that your last name really she is. She said Dick. just go to her like Facebook. Oh and really? Can't find okay. It. All right. You can't find it. She'll have to come on tomorrow. She said okay. she'll be on the show tomorrow. All right. Okay. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll get it and we'll, I'll find her. You have the Sorry. right to dip. Yes, you do. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Okay. Alright, bye. We'll see yes. you all tomorrow. Alright. Bye. Have Be a good dick Monday. to each other. Alright. <laughs> bye.